Hey guys, welcome back to Nice Junk. So, we're just going to be uh, breaking down the final components in the um, big refrigeration unit I did last week. I had a subscriber say that I should actually dig into that styrofoam. I'm still yet undecided, but you'll know if uh, you see it on this video. So, I guess we're just going to pull the copper out, clean up the rad, and uh, we'll take it from there. So, hopefully you enjoy this video. So, we're going to start off with the compressor motor. Uh, remove the four bolts. It pops right off. And uh, so, what we're going to do is cut the strings. Zip the crown off, pull it out the other side. Now, something I wanted to show you was uh, a long time ago. Well, I don't know how long ago, but you know what I'm saying. Someone asked what was inside a mag motor. So basically, it's an armature that or a rotor that doesn't have copper windings and it looks like a big chunk of aluminum. So I cut one in half, completely in half. And basically all these little things here is aluminum. The rest is prepared steel. So the other end does have aluminum. I'm just gonna throw this straight in my prepared steel. Um, I checked with my yard manager, he's got no problem with it. So it's high carbide steel. The little bit of aluminum is just a bonus for him. So, just keep that in mind. There's probably easier ways to cut in the string. But I don't care. Whatever it takes to get the job done. Right? And then it just pulls off. Like, at least this won't be so hard later when we go to strip it because you know the scrap drawer is going to want to see this this crap off probably help if i used a sharp knife but they say there's a bigger chance of getting cut with a dull knife so that's why i like to use a dull knife or it seems that way like I seen the Oki, he cuts like in one spot and the whole thing un unravels. I'm not that bright, so probably should check him out. Look at the glue in this thing. How nasty is that, eh? The glue right there. Look at that glue. Look at this glue. Bunch of plastic. Man, man, oh man, oh man. So normally I would use Bertha, my horizontal um, bandsaw. But she's decided she wanted a holiday and snapped her blade and I haven't been to the store to get a new one. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way. really don't like this way. It makes a mess. Birth, that's a nice clean cut. Man, I don't like this. Gumming up my saw. Eh. All in the windings. Hate it. 
So you see this nice fine mess? You guys don't want to listen to me whine and cry because I was too lazy to go get a blade. I sometimes wonder if a flapper disc wouldn't be easier. Maybe bleep bloop in the comments. What you guys do to cut the strings? I know Oki uses a, a carpet knife of some kind. So next is this motor. Oh, I popped the cap off and we're just going to see if it's copper or not. It's definitely copper. Now we'll just pull that out of the casing and we'll be right with you. Let's see if this will work. Help me understand, you rude little, okay, let go. Fudgel sticks, they're tough. Yeah, what more? So now it's time for the wrong tool for the right job. I'm just going to use my Robertson bit. Force that down. Because I don't feel like looking for a punch. So, prepared steel, like the one I showed you before. Well, 14,365 days later, we got this out, prepared, prepared steel. So what I did is I just cut those in half. I know some guys use hand tools. I don't have time for that. Another piece of prepared steel that's all nice and cleaned up, kind of, sort of. So, folks, I don't know if you remember this transformer. It was in that top piece there. Well, I couldn't get the plastic cover off, but you see right here, that's black resin. I started cutting that with the Sawzall. It stinks like you wouldn't believe. Um... I'm going to try and get the copper out, but that's not good stuff, man. So it, it is copper. There's the first chunk. I'll get as much as I can out of it, but there's no promises when it comes to this. So another installment of wrong tool, right job. Oops, that grinder's gonna go flying. <laughs> I'm 
So, there she is. So what we're gonna do, let's try breaking this off. No, this is gotten personal. Can't see no one getting hurt here. I don't know. It's not like you guys are helping. <coughs> wow. It's coming apart. She came apart way better than I thought. That's all. There. Let's try this one. Plastic. Whoa, it's falling apart in my hand. Wow, the tape didn't even stick. So really, is it the wrong tool if it works? <laughs> wow. That's not bad. I think my yard would take that as it is for number two. So that's the end of that. So the final thing to do is this copper aluminum ra radiator. Again, normally I would do it on Bertha. A lot faster, a lot cleaner. But hey, let's give it a shot. With this absolutely horrible machine the worst machine ever invented by mankind, the Sawzall. Blah, 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 blah. See, that's the sound of a battery dying. So, just pull these needle, noodles off, even though there's no solder joints. Um, still classified as number two because of the oils that have been in them. And don't worry, you're not fooling the scrapyards. They know exactly what they are, so. Especially when you bring in your AC scrap at the same time. the edge Oops. that went flying we'll never find that again there we go one clean piece of shred scale at zero zero that's right that's a scale Copper aluminum rad, five pounds, 0. 0.52 ounces. That's a heavy enough copper aluminum rod. So let's put that here. And that little tote weighs 1.53 ounces. Clear that out. Now, yard 
um, pays me the same for wire as they do pipe. So we're going to put this all in. I mean, number two wire and pipe, and that's all this is. that out this is still stuck I, I'm gonna have to clean this up but I'm not gonna do that right now the difference won't make a lot of it won't make it won't make a lot of difference so I'll just do that offline so we've got 12 pounds 6.9 ounces and there's probably a, an ounce that fell on the floor underneath the workbench. They'll eventually get. But that's pretty good. A little piece of aluminum. Doesn't register on the scale. It's a little transformer. Cell 4 motors. 3.9 ounces. Uh, brass. 8.6 ounces. So, it's raining outside. We haven't had a chance to take out that stuff out of the foam block. I might get a chance yet. I don't know. Stay tuned. Um, if it clears up first thing in the morning, then I'll include it in this video. If not, then you know it didn't happen. Now we got the insulated wire. Um, yeah, some of this I can strip to bare bright, some of it I won't. So for the video, two pounds, 3.7 ounces. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think for $2 purchase, plus we still have all the steel, all the prepared steel to cash in. So for a $2 purchase on that refrigeration unit, I think that was some nice junk. Make sure to watch, subscribe, like, share. Don't forget about the 500 Beaver um, contest. And we'll catch you all next weekend.